Okay, this is going to be an unedited video on making a, a, a watering system. So it's an automatic watering water for the 1020 uh, flat. So these are some I started two weeks ago, and they're doing very well. The Salanova's between 99 and 100% for each tray. So I'm, I'm very pleased with that because sometimes last year I was getting as low as probably 20%. So I had to dial things in. But on this segment, we're just going to focus on the automatic watering system. A very simple little gadget I made. It, you guys can go off of it and make something maybe for yourselves. Let me pause it and I'll then we'll look at it. All right, you're looking at it. I'm going to show you the backside and then how it was... Um, how it was put together. Everything I use is just low volume irrigation. It might not be all available from a Lowe's or Home Depot. You may have to go to a irrigation supply house, but these are all common fittings. So these sit in the 1020 trays and we'll water it on my timer. It's set for like three minutes a day. This is the back side of it and how it was put together. I do have a here, let me see if it's in focus. Okay. Oops. Over here, there is a ball valve yeah, that's in line. And this is quarter inch uh, rigid tubing. This is your regular quarter inch line. These are T's and then elbows. And this will sit into the um, 1020 tray. And then the, when the, it's, I have the system on to demonstrate. So now, now it's running. And then you would just set the 1020 tray in here. The way, reason I have the elbows on there is when there's plants in here, I can have it on the left or the right or move it around any way I, I should want. But I wanted it down below. You'll notice that there's one, two, three holes. And this tray is pitched too, so it's about a uh, half an inch, three eighths of an inch lower on this side. But you play with yours however you, you, whatever works with you. With the three holes, they're also there on the, um, let me see if I can... the, the holes are on the, the top of these ridges. They're not on the bottom. So that way it's a reservoir, it'll hold. Uh, you know a quarter inch of water after it drains out. It'll hold a quarter inch also where the Where the net cups are there is um, Vermiculite in here, so it it adds as a wick So let's go in the garage and we'll look at the different components On this project I'm using a, um, The quarter inch line which it comes in different kinds and colors but this right here is not that kind of quarter inch line. This is a rigid tubing. They come in, oh, I think different lengths. Like I buy them in like two foot long lengths. But that is what I'm using for the, uh, the plumbing on the bottom. All right, let me show you how this is getting dialed in. I wish I could do this quickly and not take too much of your time. Okay, I went ahead and... Um, Put it together i saved a couple pieces to kind of demonstrate how they fit together so that's from the the rear view you can see there's a a, a, a screw a deckmate screw i use with a, a washer to lock it in and then there's a locking well, there's another screw above it and that kind of locks it in so it makes a channel for it and then you don't want it real tight but you got to tighten it enough so this doesn't turn so if i move this it doesn't turn the, the horizontal line doesn't turn easily. So, let me see if I can set this right here, and then I'll finish putting it together. Now, the rigid pipe, it's, it's easier to work with a lot of these micro irrigation parts uh, if you have some soft gloves on because it just, you can use more strength and your fingers don't wear out or get pinched. So you do with just a little pressure. Let's see, can you, yeah, you can see, a little pressure, slide it in and turn and put it in and it's it's locked in. Now these are designed to run on say maybe up to 30 psi. Um, you wouldn't want to do much more than that. Let me see if we can put this screw in here too to lock it. Why well, I have the video going. So, 
So I'm going to put it in so it's kind of snug a little bit, okay? A little loose. And then I, it kept wanting to slide out when I was, uh, the rigid line wanted to slide out. The horizontal rigid line wanted to slide out. So I put the kind of a another screw on top just kind of to lock it in there so it can't slide out, okay? And now it's real loose, you can see. Then I'll tighten this one up just enough where it's holding it, but you don't want to pinch it for the water flow. So we'll do the same here. So I'll get it in most of the way. Put in the top screw for the locking pin. There's a million ways to do this, but this will give you some good ideas. Now that's rigid. Because you don't, you don't want them to move around. If they can move around real easy, then they can come out and your plants could dry up. Okay, so that is essentially it. I got one more. Let's see. So I guess that's enough you get the. Well, there you have it. Um, I will put one more piece in and we'll call this one done. And then I could hook it up to the irrigation system. I'm going to make this. I want it lower than the top of the 1020 tray so it doesn't tend to come out. And then we'll lock it in. And then it's done. This way, I, I with uh, by doing it this way, you know, it's nice weather. I can have the plants just outside anywhere. And uh, they can get watered. As long as I have a watering line, I can run a line to this. So that'll do four trays. Now, there's a lot of other options. If you have a big planting bench, a plant bench, instead of doing... Um, you know, four of the same setup can do eight because you would just have a another one, say another, well, another four of these and have them go the other way. And then you can have, you know, tr trays going both ways. That would do eight, 10, 20 trays. But right now I'm doing maybe five, five lettuce trays every two weeks. Um, but as I do more, well, uh, this will change. Okay, that's enough babbling. Oh, seven minutes it took. I'm sorry. But good luck. And I, I think this can help people to do, come up with something, give you some ideas for something simple. Bye-bye.